In South Africa, we have an animal called a honey badger that is famous for its bravery. One particular honey badger became famous. It's called Stoffel, S-T-O-F-F-E-L, because he took on a pride of lions. And some humans rescued him from this perilous battle and um, put him in an enclosure because it was clear that if he was free, he was going to go back to those lions again and again and again until he was killed. The enclosure, think of a, something about the size of a large swimming pool, um, of high walls and um, no exit. And the base of it is um, just like the rest of the earth, you know, earth, rocks, um, tree stumps, things like that. And that was where he was put and he escaped, even though the walls are high and they're not jumping creatures. What had happened is that someone had left a, an implement, a rake or something, on the land there. And Stoffel had taken the rake, put it up into a corner to make a ramp that he could climb up and get out. So they made sure they didn't leave any more tools in his enclosure. And he escaped. They discovered that he'd found a branch that was loose and propped it again in that corner, which gave him a ramp that he could get up and he could get out. So they made sure that the ground was cleared of all the sticks and things that might be used that way. And Stoffel escaped. What he'd done was to um, roll all the boulders and rocks he could find into that corner to make a sort of ramp that he could go up and he escaped. So they cleared the ground of rocks and boulders and any loose things that might be piled up like that. And then they found Stoffel scratching away, trying to build the earth up into a ramp in the corner that he could use to get out. He was a natural escape artist. Now, why am I thinking of him? Because at the weekend... Linda and myself, we attended a one of these, which is a webinar um, run by some friends of ours who are quite new agey. So the webinar was all about um, how to survive the coronavirus and the lockdown, and everything, and it was very much about um, uh, surviving and thriving in the dark days. In other words how to think of this as the potential for a new beginning, a new rethink, and um, to make the best of it. Now, so there was a lot of talk about, you know, um, turning crises into opportunities, um, a chance to pause and reflect and, um, and uh gather oneself for a better future and things like that. And then one of the um, participants said, you know, while we're talking away about um, sort of new hope and um, a better world and everything, there are thousands of people who are dying. There are millions of people who are out of work and others that are starving because of this crisis. Now, that was sort of embarrassing because, of course, um, both Lynn and myself, we, we had those sort of thoughts were going on in our heads. And I had a sort of inner, you know, like could be a, a critic, a guardian feature writer saying to me, you know, oh, yeah, you know, here's a bunch of um, comfortably off middle class English people talking about a better world and this side and the other while other people are dying and in misery and so on. A very negative feeling it was. But what occurred to me is that um, basically they were doing the same thing as Stoffel. They were sort of rolling up boulders of hope to create a ramp, scratching up the earth of expectations, what might happen, possibilities, to make a ramp in order to get out of that enclosure they were in. Now, you might say, how can you compare someone in a comfortably off um, house in England um, 
a middle-class person, comfortably off in a house in England, with a honey badger trapped in a large enclosure. Well, I think actually it's quite a good analogy, because that honey badger was safe there, safe from other predators, fed regularly. They even brought in um, a female honey badger to keep him company, and he had a lot of space there. And yet, his instinct was to do all he could to pile things up and get out of it. And that's really what I saw these New Agers doing, um, finding ways to pile up hopes and possibilities and expectations to get out. And it's all very well being cynical about it and saying, um, you know, you're lucky if you can think of a better world, but it, actually this is a very deeply ingrained instinct, not just in humans, but in all creatures. It's a survival. It's the ability to do that sort of thing, which has um, given us our preeminent position in evolution and in the world. So the question for me is, when you see um, this, this honey badger, and he's on video uh, on YouTube, you know, I'll put the link in. When you see him going through his struggles to get out, do you laugh or do you admire him? And the answer is that most people I've seen who've shown that too, they do both. It's amusing, but it's also admirable. It's life trying to do better. And that's what I think these new Asians are doing, and I salute them. <laughs>